Number two then from the 2017 Mathematics and Mechanics. Here we go, straightforward question for six marks. Not like question one where you had to interpret the situation and so on. Question one actually seemed to go on forever. But this is simply a case of following rules that you know. So first part for three marks, differentiate this. So what's the derivative of that? Notice there's a little disclaimer here that they put in that you just ignore it anyway. That's just to cover themselves. That just says, in this expression, x can't be zero because you can't divide by zero. Also, logarithm of zero doesn't exist. Also, x can't be less than zero because you don't get the logarithms of numbers less than zero. So that's not quite right, but that doesn't matter anyway because you're just going to ignore that. So what's the pattern for this? Well, there's two ways. You could rewrite that as 2x squared all to the power negative 1 and use the product rule, but there's no point because the quotient rule takes care of that. That's where it came from. So let's just use the pattern for it. And the pattern is square the denominator. So that's 2x to squared times 2x squared, 4x to the power 4. Oops. Then, just like the product rule, has got the two parts where each of them takes their turn. It's obviously the same thing. So differentiate that. That's 1 over x. Leave that alone. That's 2x squared minus, because after all it was underneath. Leave that alone and then differentiate that for x. Now there's two marks for doing that. They split it up as knowing to use the quotient rule and starting it off. So maybe I'll put it there and then finishing it off correctly. And the last mark is simplify it because it did say simplify it. So you couldn't just leave it like that. That is correct technically, but you're not going to leave it like that. What have we got together? Maybe I'll put another line down on top of this. That goes to just 2x. I'll put that at the front, then it doesn't look as if it's multiplying that x in there. 4x times ln x, and that'll still be 4x to the 4. Then take out the common factor of 2x. So 2x divides from all the terms above and below. So it'll be 1 minus 2 ln x over, and dividing that by 2x drops it down to a 2x cubed. That's the last mark. Suppose if you felt so inclined, you could pop that 2 inside as a power and have 1 minus ln x squared. But that'll do. And part b. If y equals cos x squared 3x, show that dy by dx plus 6y cot 3x is 0. For the same 3 marks as the first bit. Now it's going to be a bit more involved. You've got these reciprocal trig functions you probably don't like, but no matter, you've got the formulas at the front. But one thing I'll do with this is I'll emphasise the fact that you've actually got a function of a function of a function here. Starting with x, you do three times it, and I'll emphasise with a bracket. Then you find the cosec of it, so there's the second layer. Then you square the whole lot. So when you do the derivative, it's going to be the chain rule with actually three links in it. In the marking scheme, it says first application, second application, and they've thrown that three in, but that's strictly speaking as a third application. So, outside first, two times it to the power one. And what was inside? Cosec, 3x, times, now look inside, move in a layer, Russian dolls, pull the head off and look inside. Cosec, what's the derivative of cosec? Unfortunately, it's even worse than that. It's negative cosec, whatever, cot, whatever. Now look inside again. What's the derivative of 3x? That's 3. There was two marks here. One for starting it off, doing the first link in the chain if you like, and one for finishing it. But I'll need to tidy it up though, won't it? You've got 2 times 3 and it's negative is negative 6. You've got a cosec times a cosec, so that's cosec squared 3x cot 3x. Finish that first bit off. Now, this bit then. You have to show that dy by dx plus 6y cot 3x equals 0. I'll not beg the question by putting equals 0. I'll figure out where this comes to, because I've got all the parts anyway. Here's dy by dx. That's negative, so that's equal to negative cos x squared, I'll just write it as 3x, times cot 3x plus 6 times, and I'll show this substitution, because y is up here, cos x squared 3x, but it then gets multiplied by cot 3x. Those terms are identical, positive and negative, so that equals 0 for the last mark.